Hi everyone, welcome to day 6 of Advent of Code 2023. Today we have a boat race and we need to find out some ways in which we can win. Today was a little bit easier than the previous few days, so I actually managed to finish really nicely in 6th place overall and 35th place for part 1 alone. I managed to solve it in like about 3 minutes, so I'll be showing the entire footage, not just time lapse, but if you want to skip to the explanations, that'll be uh, in the chapters or in the description, feel free to skip forward to that. So let's get started with my full 3 minute solve. So today we have a boat race that is going on, and in this boat race we have a set distance that is the record so far for a boat in that race, and we have a time limit on how long the race is allowed to last. So in part one we're given that there are three races in the example, which have durations of 7, 15, and 30 milliseconds each. So there's three races, and the record so far for each of those races are 9, 40, and 200. We are going to enter a toy boat in this race, and what we can do is for the time that is allotted, so for example, if there's 7 milliseconds in this race, then we can hold down uh, the start button for a positive integer or non-negative integer number of milliseconds, and then we can let the boat go. For every second that we hold down the start button, the boat is going to increase its speed by 1 millimeter per second. So... There's a lot of there's a lot of milli units, so millisecond, millimeter, but I guess the emphasis is that this is a very small race with small scale boats. So, for example, if in a seven uh, millisecond race we hold down the start button for four milliseconds, then the boat's not going to move for four milliseconds, but it's going to increase its speed to four millimeters per millisecond, I guess, which is 
the same as four meters per second. Okay, actually, no, it's not. Wait, one millimeter is one one thousandth. Okay, actually, that does check out. Yes. So um, we increase our boat speed to four millimeters per millisecond, and then it starts going. For the remaining three milliseconds, it moves at four millimeters per millisecond, which means it uh, travels 12 millimeters total and that is enough to beat the world record of nine millimeters so we do this for every race we figure out uh for how many seconds we can hold down the button to uh i guess exceed the world record and we need to find the number of ways we can do that for each race and then multiply all of those numbers together to get the total number of ways that we can beat all of the races together so for seven it turns out that there's like um four different ways we can beat the race by holding down the button for a number of milliseconds. In the second race, there's eight different ways. And in the third race, there's nine different ways. So multiplying all of those together gives four times eight times nine, which is 288 ways to beat the race. Uh, to do that, I use a pretty naive method. I didn't bother to read the inputs programmatically. I just did it manually, which I thought was faster. So that, this is actually the test input. This is the real input. And I just entered it in by hand because I thought it was easier to parse the input. Then I created a function, which given a time limit for the race in milliseconds and the current record so far, which is D millimeters, how many ways are there to beat this race? And the way I did that was just loop through all the possible uh, combinations or I'll loop through all the ways that we could hold down the button. So how many seconds it can range from zero up until T minus one. I guess I maybe should include T. No, I shouldn't include T. Because if you include T, then you're holding down the button for all T seconds, and you're not going to move because you have no time to move. So to tell if a uh, number of seconds will work for beating the record, basically we spend T minus I seconds actually moving, because the first I seconds are going to be spent holding down the button. And then the speed is going to be I millimeters per second. So you multiply the number of seconds that it's moving by its speed. And if that exceeds the record, then that's one additional way we can beat this race. At the very end, we just turn the total number of ways. And I just went through all of the races by using the zip function uh, to go through each of these pairs. And then at the end, multiply all of them together using this for loop. For part two, it turns out that there's only uh, one race because our paper is formatted poorly. So the spacing of the letters it's called kerning is pretty off so it turns out there's only one race but it's pretty big numbers so we have 7 uh 15 30 becomes 71530 so this is 75 1 71530 and the world record so far is like 9 9 9 uh 90 940,000 millimeters so it's actually a much bigger race and we just need to figure out how many ways there are to beat the current race and for this the input is slightly bigger so this is going to be a eight digit number and that's going to be around 10 to the 8 or so within an order of magnitude which is actually okay to loop um loop through so looping through 10 to the 8 things you can do that in a reasonable amount of time and that's basically just what i did really easy because i just have to reuse this function um and i get the answer so it's dependent on how many milliseconds are in the race that determines how long the solution will take to run. The second number doesn't really matter because it's just something that we're checking towards checking against uh, for our calculations. So yeah, that's it for day six of Advent of Code 2023. I think it's a nice break from the very difficult puzzles that have occurred for day five, day four, day three. And as always, you can find my code in the description below. I'm going to refactor it a little bit so that it's generalizable and actually lines up with the input. Otherwise, thanks for watching and leave any questions or comments down below. I'll see you tomorrow for day seven.